Hey, it's Professor Wilbur from dragondropcode.com. I've just, in the previous video of this series, showed how to build a travel app. Okay, and what, now what can you do with it, right? Um, we've already kind of previewed it on the web. And if I click on that little arrow, I can actually, you know, test the app, right? I can click on this test on device as long as if, if my phone is nearby and I've got to download the Thunkable Live app on that, it'll automatically run on my phone, which is really cool. But that's just testing it, okay? Um, what about sharing it with others? So one way to share it, by default, every app you create is public in the, in the Thunkable community. Um, so I've got, this is called Travel App. And, you know, one thing I can do is go to the settings for my app over here on the left and add a description. And, and this app translates um, some common terms into uh, Mandarin. Okay, and the app name is you Neo know, Travel China. And it's important to kind of, you know, kind of put this information in uh, because it'll it'll be on a share screen that I'm going to show you. But also, if you do download the app and install it, or if you, um, you know, share it with others, or if you actually get it onto the app store, this stuff will come into come into play. And you probably want to get an icon. And for my icon, I'm just going to grab my greatwall.jpg icon, and and that'll be the icon that shows up if I install this on on it on the phone okay all right so you know how do i publish how do i do that kind of stuff uh first thing i'm going to show you is i'm going to go back to my main project screen and if i go there i'm going to see this app that i just created um you know i gave it a different name you know which is a public name but inside here it's called travel app and you'll notice there's this dot 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 and i can get to a project detail page if I click on that, um, it's kind of nice. It's gonna, it, it does show my description over here. Um, and this is a public page. So anybody can come here. And in fact, you can grab this link up here and email it to people and they can get to this page. And they can not only can they try your app out, they can edit project. Actually, they won't be able to, there will be no edit project, but it'll be an open project and then they can copy it and get their own remix copy uh, and they can change it, do whatever they want with it, right? So this, this kind of project detail page and the link to it's a great thing to send to people, you know, not as a final app, you know, for installing on the app store, but this is a nice way to share as you're building whatever you're building. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go back into the project now. Um, and I just wanna show you, there's also this share link and, and this, this link is really to share the source code or the source blocks. Um, and you, know, you, you could do it the way I just showed you, but this actually, you can email this and then someone clicks it and they immediately get a copied, uh, copy of your project. So it's not, they can't get into your project and actually change yours, but they can get their own copy and, and make changes to that. So that's, that's that share. And then, of course, it's just download and publish. Okay, um, publishing to iOS is com complicated. You have to actually pay ninety nine dollars to join the Apple Developer um, License, um, and then once you do that, there is a, you know it's a pretty arduous you know steps to get through. You know, Apple kind of monitors and checks all you you know anytime you try to put something on the App Store, you got to get through their their checks, okay, but it's doable. I've done it, I, I've put an app on the iOS app store from Thunkable, okay, so it's pretty cool. You can do the same with Android, pretty pretty complicated. Uh, notice you have to be a pro member in Thunkable to do these things. And that means it's, um, you know, $25 for a month or, uh, you know, I think it's 200 for a year or something like that to become a pro member in, in Thunkable. Uh, so something like you have, you have to pay to actually get things on to the iOS store. Um, you can, in order to test things, you can download a single copy of your app as, as an iOS app and you'll get an email. So when you click on this guy, um, you'll notice it says, give me an email address. And it takes, um, 
you know, it takes a while, like 20 minutes. But if I say send, it's going to send to somebody an email. And when they click into that email, they click the link, they're going to actually be able to install an app on their iPhone. Okay, so you might do this for if you want to make it real easy for people to to actually have this installed, or if you want to install it yourself, oh, this is my one app. It's a little weird. You can only have one thunkable app at a time. This is a this is an iOS or it's an Apple restriction. They don't they want everything to go through the app store, right? But they do allow for testing purposes a single non-app store app that you can test. Um, and this is the way you do it. Okay, so so let's say you're almost done or you think you're kind of done and you actually kind of want to take a look at what the installed app will look like because it might look different than the testing environment, the Thunkable Live environment. Um, and this is what you do to, to do that. And then of course, if you're, if you're ready, okay, I want to put this app on the app store, then you're not going to choose download. You're going to choose, choose publish and do it that way. Um, publish web app is cool as well. When you publish web app, you can, you can get, you know, this is to run either on a phone in the browser on the phone or on a computer. And when you get this, you can also embed it into another web page. So you could have your app running on, on a web page. Uh, but once again, you have to be a pro member to, to do that. Uh, so anyway, just a quick overview of how you can share your apps and publish them. Um, and, you know, later I'll, I'm, I'm definitely going to put up a, a tutorial on publishing to iOS um, and the complications there. But if you're just, you know, learning coding and building your first apps, I wouldn't worry about this for now because um, you can test your apps with Thunkable Live already. And you can have others test them, you know, you can show them to people as well. So that's, that's kind of what you want to do to start.